Hello everyone and thank you for watching this. In this video, we're going to upload photos and organize them. To upload photos, first we need to find an upload link. If we are on our own site, on the top right, we'll see a link which reads Megashot. Putting our mouse over this link, we'll see a set of options which will take us to the pages of the main site. On the bottom of this drop-down, we'll see an upload link. If we are on somebody else's site, we'll see the Megashot link, but we also see another link which reads your site. Putting our mouse over this link will give us a set of options which will take us back to our own site. On the bottom of this drop-down, we'll see an upload link. If we are on the main site, on the top right of every page, we'll see a link which reads your site. Putting our mouse over this link will give us the same options to go back to our own site. You see, we have the upload link here as well. If we are on a community site, we'll see the Megashot link, and we will also see your site link with the same options, and of course, the upload link at the bottom of both dropdowns. In addition to that, on every single page of Megashot, on the bottom, you see the upload link. Let's go back now to our own site. Like on our own site, of course, you know about this link. Let's upload from here. On the upload page, we have three options. We can create a gallery and upload to this gallery. We can upload to one of the galleries we have created before, or just upload and organize later. Let's create a gallery. Let's call it Flowers. When you create a gallery, by default, the gallery is a public gallery. We have a choice to make this gallery private. If we choose to make the gallery private, then we have to give the gallery a password. The content of a private gallery will be viewed only by you and by those to whom you give the password to. Let's go back and make it a public gallery. Create, upload to this gallery, On the Uploader page, I can browse for the file I want to upload. I have some flower shots in my flower folder, which I would like to upload. So I can choose them all. I click on Open, and the files are in my Uploader. If I change my mind, and if I want to upload other photos, then I reset. Otherwise, I click on Upload and start the process. After the upload process is finished, we will be placed automatically on the next page, where we would have to set the privacy level, add some tags to our photos maybe, and save them. If we do not save our photos on the next page, they will not be seen on our photo stream. So please, do not just hit on upload and navigate away. After upload is completed, we will be placed on the edit page. On this page, we can edit the image title, add a description maybe, set the privacy level, and set the print options. We can do all this later too, but if you are concerned about image privacy, you may want to do it now. In the image title section, if you see a JPEG extension, 
after the image name, you do not have to remove it, as the script will remove it for you. Also, until we have full commerce, you can only sell prints and gifts in your home store. So, when you set the print available option, the photo will be searchable in your home store. Later, when we have full commerce, the photo will also be searchable in the commerce section of the main site as well. The last option we can set on this page would be adding tags. The tags we add on this page would be applied to all the photos uploaded. So we have to add tags which would apply to all the photos equally. We can add tags to individual photos later. Tag that I could add to these photos would probably be flower, comma, nature, comma, maybe my name, and so on and so forth. We can add, save, after the edit page, we will be placed on photo stream. Photo stream is where we see the photos we have uploaded to the site in the order we have uploaded them. Under each photo, we have the image name, the date it was uploaded, the number of comments and views it may have received, privacy settings, and print options. We have an edit link, a delete link, and a replace link. Clicking on the edit link would allow us to edit this photo. Let's try it. We are back now on the edit page where we can edit the name of the photo, add or change the description of the photo, change the privacy setting, print option, or add more tag if we want. Except for the privacy setting and the print option, we can do the rest on the photo page as well. We can save and we are back on photo stream. Clicking on the delete link would allow us to delete a photo. Let's delete this one. Delete, okay. And the image is gone. Clicking on the replace link would allow us to replace this photo with another one. I would also like to mention that we can further customize our photo stream, each gallery, and each photo page. Clicking on the setting link and choosing any or a combination of these options will allow us to do just that. We can design photo streams like this or like this or like this. This will conclude Upload and Organize Part 1, and thank you for watching this video.